Hi and welcome to a, a bit of a different video today. As you can see, not only am I not alone, but we're doing something very, very different to my usual program. We're not talking about films, this is not a drone video. Today we will be trying out some whiskey. I am joined here by my friend and piping instructor, Carl Wallner, and you will be able to see both of these whiskies, but mm -hmm. this one here, the Laphroaig, will be tasted on my channel and we'll be talking about it, of course. The other one here, Smokehead, will be on his channel, so I will leave a link down below for you to watch that afterwards. But I will say it is in German, so you will not only be hearing about whiskies, you will be able to develop your German skills. Enjoy! Okay, so we are here now with the Laphroaig whiskey, which... Uh, is sponsored but not in the typical way like you see on YouTube so I have not been sent this by the makers of Laphroaig instead my parents-in-law they have given me this for my birthday I'm the easiest person to give gifts to if you don't know what to buy me just buy me a whiskey I'll always be happy <laughs> so we're going to try this I'm quite interested in it I am only used to the normal Laphroaig uh, this is the quarter cask and what happened here was uh, it was made like they used to so in a smaller cask so they were put in these barrels so that they could be transported by uh, horses more easily nowadays they only have the large barrels but here they intentionally used a smaller barrel to make the taste more intense so I'm really looking forward to this one okay let's unpack it I'll see See what's inside. Oh yeah. So, lovely green bottle. Oh yeah, I really like the color of the bottle. Mm -hmm. Yes, very much so. Quite nice. Yeah. Very nice green color. So it's an Isla single malt Scotch whiskey quarter cask. Very, very nice. Let's get it open, shall we? <laughs> yeah, of course. Mm -hmm. I can't wait. I really love Laphroaig. It's always like it gives me the feeling of the Outer Hebrides because you know, peat fire going, all the smoke, winter time, I just love it. And yeah, every drum like a Laphroaig just gives me the feeling. Yeah. In a way, Carl here is actually more Scottish than I am because I've been living in Vienna all my life, but he actually lived in Scotland for quite some time. So he knows quite a lot <laughs> more about Scotland than various things than I do. <laughs> <laughs> but my accent is typical Austrian. <laughs> would say, yeah. Well, it that's is. fine, that's fine. Schwarzenegger became governor, so you yeah. can do anything with an Austrian accent in English. Sure. <laughs> okay, let's see if we do the trademark plop that Carl has in his whiskey tastings in the channel. Nope. <gasps> there we go, a nice wee plop. And the first wee smell. It smells a bit faint, not as strong as you're used to from Laphroaig, I, I feel. Mm -hmm. It's not too strong. No. No, no, no. So this box, as you can see here, came with two glasses, which is great. We, we will use these, of course. Don't worry, I did rinse them out first. So we're not taking them straight out of the box. I am cheating a bit in that way. I like fancy boxes. <laughs> yes, definitely. <laughs> So, let's make sure we don't drop them. Oh, it feels like you get something special. Oh, thank you so much. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> Magical. A genie in the green bottle, it says here. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. Let's see if, if this holds true. Very nice. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Lovely sound. Yeah. So we start by seeing what we can smell and I will give you a wee uh, heads up. Neither of us are whiskey experts, so we like drinking whiskey, that does not make us experts. So we are trying as laymen to identify any notes that we can, okay? Uh, <laughs> if you are one of, the, one of the people who really knows their stuff about whiskey, you'll probably be very angry about this video. Sorry, but uh, we just love whiskey and wanted to make a video about it. <laughs> So, a first smell. Yeah, but the first thing I notice is it's not as dark as the smoke head we had before, yes. just earlier on. 
good point. We should examine the color first. Yeah. It's very light, very it bright. Is, yeah. Very true. So let's smell it. Yes. Yeah. Hmm. Wow. Again, like with the cork, it's not as uh, smoky as I'm used to from Lafroig. I agree, yeah. Very interesting. Mm -hmm. There is something. Yes. What? <laughs> <laughs> it's, I would say, something like, maybe I'm totally wrong, but like Zitlusfrüchte. You can translate that, Zitlusfrüchte. Yes, a, a slight note of something lemony or such. Mm -hmm. It's quite different if you compare it to the smokehead. Maybe you can put an info card for the people for yes. the smokehead <laughs> tasting. <laughs> yes, uh, as, as mentioned in the intro, we're doing both. So if you want to hear uh, about how the smokehead went, how we liked that, how we enjoyed it, you can find a card up here, click on that to see it. The video is in German, but nowadays YouTube does enough with translation, so I'm sure they will give you subtitles in case you don't want to brush up on your German. Ready? I'd say, let's yeah. give Ready it a wee taste. Are? Okay. Yes. Slanja. Slanja. Hmm. Quite nice. Yeah. Hmm. I must say it's it's forty percent proof, but I must say it doesn't taste as strong. It's nope. very interesting. It's it's like it's like the the contrary to the smokehead that we had before, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. where we found that with water it actually tastes a bit nicer because it took away from the strength. Here I feel. I mean, we will try it with water as well, but from the get go, it already feels very nice for the high percentage that it has. Yep, and I would say um, the upgang. The finish. It's, yeah, the finish is quite nice. Yes, very smooth. It's not rough and like the smoke had before, it was like burning like lava. I mentioned actually lava from a volcano, <laughs> but that's quite nice. Yeah. Yes, it's, it's, very, it's very smooth. Mm -hmm. S soft and smooth. Yeah. Maybe a little bit of birne. A pear. Could that be? A pear? Maybe. I do agree where the smoke had, I felt that I tasted something fruity sort of in the direction of maybe some berries or so here i do agree it's something that's more in the direction of maybe lemons a pear something along those types of mm -hmm. fruit but i think the quality of the whiskey is much higher than the quality of the smoke yes i, think I, I, I would it. i would yeah. i would agree yeah. yes 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 i would say it tastes just more expensive, but that's <laughs> not a kind of taste, it's, but, it, that's yeah. very interesting they, yeah. they both i mean as i said uh, this was given to me as a present but I do assume that they're both roughly in the same price category. But I would agree, they taste like they're from different categories, yeah. definitely, yes. So this is a very, very surprising. Surprisingly smooth. Okay. It does say on the bottle here, the perfect marriage of peat and oak. So you're supposed to obviously have a very strong wood flavour. Do we say, do we, can we notice the wood flavour? Oak. What? Peat? It's not. Wood it's not. not it's, it's also not that peaty. Yeah. yeah. No. No. Compared to 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 the smokehead, anyway. And oak. Eh? Mm. I don't. I don't eat it, too many trees, so um, it's a bit hard I to make comparisons. I want to say that. So I actually don't know <laughs> <laughs> what the taste of like eich is. Or <laughs> what does the oak taste like? I have no idea. Mm. Who are these whiskey people who go around eating trees all the time? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay, there's nothing else on the bottle that uh, refers to the taste, so in that way we tasted everything there is, well apart from the cheese, but... <laughs> yeah, and I'm not wrong with the Birne because it doesn't say anything about the Birne, so probably there's Birne in it. Yes, mm -hmm. so there might be a pear in here, a pear or two. Let's add a little bit of water and let's see if that changes the taste of yes. the Lafroig. Let's do that. You go first. Is it I enough whiskey? Because... <laughs> It's yes, like yes, water. there's, there's, there's oh, yeah, still yeah, enough yeah. left here. I thought then it's water with whiskey and not whiskey with water. No, <laughs> but uh, compared to the smokehead where I had two spoons, I'll just take one this time because I, I, I think that will be enough. I think it just needs a bit. You know the Scottish saying with like, how does it go? Water with whiskey? Or they never drink water without whiskey or whiskey without water or something like that? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> never drink water? Without whiskey or something like that. Probably, yeah. yes. I mean, I, I can't say I'm familiar with the saying, but it does it does sound very... 
like something that you would hear in Scotland. Oh, really soft now, the water, mm -hmm. yeah, it smells really soft. But, it, nice it, and... interestingly, it, it smells a bit peatier to me. A bit, just a bit, not much. A slight bit. Or maybe it's the oak. <laughs> Let's taste it. Mm-hmm. Mm. Wow. Be beautiful. Yeah. Really beautiful. Wow. So, again, like with the smokehead, add a bit of water. Super duper. Yes. Soft and smooth. Yes. Yeah. Even more so than before. It's... Mm -hmm. Wow. <laughs> I don't... I usually don't add uh, water to my whiskies, but I do believe I should make a habit of it because it, I, I'm really impressed by how it changes the taste. Yeah. Absolutely. And now I would say I taste something more like the pear now. It's, uh, mm -hmm. It does seem a bit fruitier now as well. Not, not that it's a fruity whiskey, but you can taste a slight note yep. of it. And this is quality right now with the water in it, really. Yeah. Absolutely. Well, I suppose I should be very grateful to my parents-in-law. They chose an excellent whiskey. <laughs> Very highly recommended, this Laphroaig. Um, I would say particular if, like me, you've already had a Laphroaig, uh, because I, I thought I I knew it. Uh, but I, I do admit, this tastes very different than the standard one that you're used to, which I usually like. There's a there's a cocktail bar in Vienna, it's called the Sign Lounge, and they've got a whiskey with Laphroaig in it, and the special thing about it is they have it in a wee sort of spray bottle, and they come and spray it onto the whiskey, and then you smell it everywhere. That's why it's obviously so beautiful. So I really love Laphroaig, but this is so different. I'm really amazed. It's uh, so if you if you are, I would say if you're a person who thinks that whiskey is too strong, maybe maybe too intense in taste, definitely try this. Maybe f straight away with some water because it's really smooth. There's no there's no burning in the throat and the finish anything of that. It's absolutely smooth. So very very highly recommended. Absolutely. I don't know if you want to add anything. No, that's it actually, yeah. Okay. Right, well, as a wee closing piece, we will play you a tune on the practice chanters. I hope it'll work after this whiskey and we don't mix up the notes or anything. <laughs> <laughs> yes, uh, I hope you enjoy and that's what we will be finishing the video with. But please, please do check out Carl's channel. I'll leave a link up here. It'll also be down in the description below. And you have all sorts of videos on piping, you have famous pipers, you have uh, piping lessons. They are in German, but again, put on the subtitles if you're interested in learning the pipes. Highly recommended, especially if you're in Vienna, then there is no one better I could recommend. Definitely check it out, and thanks for doing so. Especially pay attention to our review and analysis of the Smokehead whiskey here. Mm.